welcome in today's online session on the topic of method of ef manufacturing this is our model number 2 in which we are going to study the forming method which includes forging extrusion and cold drawing method of ef manufacturing i am professor fayaz kawadi from department of mechanical engineering so guys let us start already these are the classification of ef manufacturing method one is a forming method and second one is a machining method forming method in which you are just deform the material by applying the force in cold condition or in hot condition but you are not removing the material here that's why this process is called as a forming method and in machining method you are removing the material to manufacture the teeth with help of single point or multi, uh, uh, multi point cutting tool so in this session we are going to discuss the forming method which include forging cold drawing extruding and cold rolling operation and in previous session already we have discussed the casting process of gear manufacturing i will share the link of that video so let us start one by one first one is a forging method in the in this method the whole gear is forged from the billet or it is also called as a stock or a raw material usually of case hardening steel in a pair of accurate dies split on the axial plane here in this image you can see student this is the top portion of that die and this is the bottom portion of the die this bottom portion is stationary and upper portion is moving with help of some moving mechanism okay so this is in a red color you can see as a stock of billet or raw material which is placed on a um, stationary die and the upper die is moving and apply the force on the workpiece material okay that's why this is called as a split die split die and the stock is placed on stationary um, uh, bottom or uh, half part of the die and on top on top a portion of the die apply the force on the raw material the raw material is a uh, red hot and it is heated up to or below the recrystallization temperature okay but below the melting point temperature uh, and above the sorry above the recrystallization temperature but below the melting point temperature the stock is heated and due to the heating it apply the force by the die and it take the same shape as that of cavity which is provided uh, on the upper and uh, lower die here in the second image you can see due to the deformation of on uh, the uh, raw material applied by the top portion of the die it will take the same shape as that of cavity which is produced by the top and bottom portion of the die okay and the same shape uh, the raw material will take uh, or acquire here in in this image the uh, material is deformed in three stages first stage then second stage and in third stages sometimes the material is deformed in stages okay uh, so uh, this process is called as a closed die and sometimes the billet is uh, compressed in open die also the dies are produced by a copying techniques from the master gear as you learn in casting process Uh, the cavity is formed with help of pattern here the cavity is made while manufacturing the dies itself okay uh, so this cavity is manufactured by the master gear and the same pattern you will uh, uh, you will get uh, by um, this forging process or applying the force in hot condition uh, dies are expensive to manufacture but the forging process is rapid and is that's why it is applicable for production work just uh, the die and the top portion of the die presses the material and the component is deformed and you will get the required shape and you will get the product and that product is nothing but gear this method is attractive for bevel gear here you can see the bevel gear in which the axis of rotation of both the gears are in same plane but perpendicular to each other so the power is transmitted through 90 degree 
and in the same application the same gears are used in the in the um, differential of the automobile okay so this is called as a b wheel gear when you want to transmit the power through 90 degree and this method is also used for manufacturing the spur gear this is a simple gear but the technical name is given as spur gear so for manufacturing the spur gear and the b wheel gear forging method is um, uh, adopted the grain uh, the good grain uh, flow pattern in the teeth and accuracy in pitch and profile within 0.01 to mm that's why a high surface finish is obtained by this method so whenever you require the high surface finish with minimum wave work at that time you will adopt this forging method of gear manufacturing now come to the next process that is a rolling a roll forming in a roll forming method of gear the gear blank is mounted on a shaft and is pressed against the hardened steel rolling dies that means the uh, dies are rotating on the shaft and when that um, raw material will pass through that dies it will get the shape of the gear the uh, rolls are fed inward gradually during several uh, revolutions which produce the gear tip the gears uh, the gear tip usually have excellent accuracy a uh, roll forming is done both uh, by hot uh, hot or cold that's why this uh, roll forming process is categorized as hot forming or cold forming now let us see what is hot forming in hot forming um, process the hot uh, rolled gears is usually cold rolled which completes the gear with the smooth mirror finish but in cold roll forming process higher pressure that means the workpiece is not heated but in cold condition the pressure is applied that's why tremendous pressure is required for uh, compressing for deforming the material uh, in case of cold roll forming so high pressure are needed as compared to hot rolling many of the gears produced by this process need no further finishing that is the specialty of this uh, roll forming process and cold roll forming process further finishing is not required since the material is strained plastically the material is deformed plastically during the process it becomes stronger against both tension and fatigue loading whenever in application uh, the gear is subjected to tension or fatigue loading at that time you will go for cold roll forming um a uh, manufacturing method for manufacturing the gears since this method can be called as chipless method that means the material is not removing in form of chip there is lot of material saving also so there is saving in machine machining operation maybe around 80% and expensive this method is expensive so suitable for mass production now come to the next process that is extrusion in extrusion the material is compressed in the chamber and the deformed material uh, is forced to flow through the dies and the die opening corresponding to the cross section of the required product and our required product is a gear so in this image you can see the gear which is removing the here uh, from one side of the die and from the other side uh, the die is manufactured as the profile as same as that of gear so after deforming when is when it press from the other side it removes from the opposite side in form of gear and the cross section of the gear is um, throughout same uh, throughout same throughout the length of the uh, gear okay so extrusion process is used to form teeth on long rods okay which are then cut into usable length as per your required length uh, you will cut the gears okay and machine for bores and keyways after that you will um, machine the internal uh, surface internal surface to produce the keyway when it will fix on the shaft okay non ferrous materials such as aluminum and copper alloys are commonly extruded rather than steel that means Uh, this aluminum material and copper alloys are used for extrusion process to manufacture the gears 
result in good surface finish uh, with higher strength uh, and the small size gear can also be made by extrusion process whenever you have to manufacture the gears having small size at that time you go for extrusion process there is saving in material and machining time this method can produce any shape of tooth and it is suitable for high volume production so these are applicable applications which are used uh, in the gears uh, in the application these are watches and clocks uh, or typewriter so in in these application these gears of uh, small size is manufactured by extrusion process now come to the third process that is a cold drawing process in this method the material is passed through the number of dies here a uh, rollers are not um, uh, present as in case of previous method in uh, in cold drawing the rollers are not there the dies are number of dies are placed uh, with uh, near to each other and through that dies the material is continuously passed and you will get the a required shape on the other side of this combination of dies okay the shape of the final die corresponds to the desired shape of the tooth so during the passage of the material through the dies it is squeezed that means it is compressed from all the side into the shape of the die here you can see in the image continuously um, the shaft is manufacturing but in multiple dies and every dies the cross section of that shaft is goes on decreasing and you are getting the required product since the material is displaced by pressure the tooth surface is quite hard and smooth now come to the material and application side the material which is used um, for cold drawing process is low to medium carbon steel brass bronze and aluminium these all material um the gear which is manufactured by this material you will go for cold drawing process and you can see the applications here in a wrist watches on the gears which are manufactured by this cold drawing process electric clocks spring wound clocks and typewriter in these applications you are you are using the gears are manufactured by cold drawing process so student at the end of the session uh, you can understand what are the different forging and forming process to manufacture the gear so thank you for watching this video